about a morning vlog on hummingbirds only. As I sit here watching the birds feed in the new feeder setup I put up. And my little dot that's sitting on my tote lid hummingbird that I made a feeder out of. Well, I think spring is here. We've got hummingbirds nesting everywhere. I have to admit, I haven't found any yet, but I know what trees they're in. They just dart in there. Remember how small those little tiny nests are. Today I'm going to tell you why. This is also for the gardeners that are watching us. I cannot pull all my sow thistle, my weeds, out of my totes. The few totes here, which I am going to dig into and start throwing kitchen scraps, leaves, branches, toilet paper rolls, everything I've got in there. I'm going to do it real soon. I'm kind of stalling. I've got tomatoes growing and I will be going one tote at a time. So the ones that have the sow thistle, especially the ones that have already seed heads on them, I'm going to leave those right now. And then when I really get serious, and I want the plant out, I will pull the plant out, stick it in a bucket or a tote where it looks like it's still planted and then just leave it somewhere. The hummingbirds have been collecting all morning as I sit here, the sow thistle, the seed heads, not the flower. The yellow flower, that's what they feed on. They get some nectar or pollen out of it. The bees feed on that, butterflies, moths, everything feeds on that. Then, as soon as the bees, the hoverflies, everybody pollinates the flower, it turns into seeds. That's all part of nature. So once it gets pollinated correctly, your beautiful flower now develops its seeds. The pollen has spread from flower to flower or within the same flower. And then the seeds develop. Once the seeds develop, they get this fuzzy white, it looks kind of like, well, not cotton, but it looks something like that. It, so once it develops the seed heads, then you've got your goldfinches coming in, you've got your little bush tits looking for insects coming in, and all the birds come in. Your hummingbirds are not eating the seeds off the south thistle. So let's say that right now. They don't eat seeds, but what they are doing is they're collecting that soft material to put and line their nest with. They line their nest. That's why when you see it and they've got white in there, it's off of the south thistle. Now, please, some of you have asked about dryer lint. Can I put dryer, dryer lint out there? I'm going to have to say I would not do it. I do not do it, and I would not do it. Why? Because the dryer lint isn't natural, a lot of it. It will be coming off of synthetic clothing, which is plastic if it's coming off of polyester or nylon. And if they got it wound around their legs, this is any bird, it will not come off. It will tighten. They could lose their leg, they could get an infection, and something could happen to them. But I let them find nature's lining, and it works. I mean, they've got plenty of flowers that develop that, but the south thistle here is the one that does it in my area, and they absolutely love it. It can't damage them in any way. It can't wind around their leg. It's not stringy. So I stay away from anything like that and let them collect what they need. And they, they find plenty. There's plenty of stuff that they can find and use for their nest. So I wanted to share that with you this morning because this has just been adorable. They've been coming and going to the south thistle and then they've been going up and across into the trees on the other side and into this pepper tree. So they're nesting all through here. I've seen them everywhere darting on all the different trees around here. So they've got nests. They haven't built any that I've seen on my deck. But remember, that one year they built a nest, had babies, and I didn't even see the nest in the corner until the babies hatched. So funny things do happen. Now, if you've got sow thistle, and you know what? It's edible. We use the greens, and we put it in our green drink. It's an edible food. But if you've got it growing and you're getting ready to start pulling your weeds, but you've got hummingbirds zipping around, you see them zipping around it, why don't you leave it a little while? And if it is in your way, just pull it out, stick it in a bucket, and just let it hang and let the hummingbirds continue to collect it because all they want is the dry seed heads anyways. So it won't matter if it's in a flower pot or a tote or the ground. All they want is the dried up seed heads with the little white fuzz. So I hope you enjoyed this. I most certainly have enjoyed this all morning watching them go back and forth. This has been so much fun. 
So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And if you're feeding hummingbirds, it's one cup of water. If you can drink it, they can drink it. And a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar. Put it in a hummingbird feeder. Put a small amount. You don't need the whole thing in a small feeder. And put the rest in the fridge. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I haven't found any yet, but I know what trees they're in. They just dart in there. Remember how small those little... Well, as soon as I sat down on my computer, I went out on the deck to change a hummingbird feeder. Guess what I found? Didn't even see her build it. Right out on the deck. She was under my nose or above my head all this time. She is one smart bird. She's got hummingbird feeders there. She's got hummingbird feeders around the corner. And she's got all the flowers we have now set up on the deck. Cool. Isn't that fun? I told you they're all over and I just don't see them.